Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, poor Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the Board of Executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Venier. Si quiere conocer Kuwak Yaku, puedo ayudarla. Are you the local tour guide? Mm. Sé a dónde ir. Y a quién no acercársele. I see. El mejor pescado es el del muelle, obvio. El licor de cerdo tiene los mejores tacos, pero la cerveza está caliente. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Ah, y Omar, aléjese de ese tipo. No necesita sus problemas. Cree que puede venir a la ciudad y tomar lo que quiera. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. Ojos bien abiertos. I've been doing some research and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years. And it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz. Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. La jungla toma lo que quiere. Es difícil conseguir que revele sus secretos. Pero encontré uno. Creo. You have. El pueblo tiene muchas capas. Remueves una y encuentras otra. Y otra. It does seem to have quite the history. A veces me pregunto si no ha estado aquí. De una manera u otra, desde el principio, parece diferente a los otros. Which others? Todos. Hombres buscando petróleo, oro, se llevan todo lo que pueden. Siempre es bueno ver caras nuevas en el pueblo. Sienta bien saber que no han olvidado este rinconcito del mundo. Y también le sienta bien al bolsillo, si tiene la gentileza de echarle un vistazo a lo que vendemos en la tienda. No entiendo cómo pueden chismorrear con tanto ánimo cuando hemos perdido tanto. I'm sorry. ¿Eh? Usted no es Mariela. No, I'm just... Uh... 
This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. La verdad es... El tiempo que tarde haciendo las compras. Hello. Déjeme adivinar. Omar la envió a extorsionarme. <ríe> Sepa que no le daré nada a ese bastardo. What are you talking about? ¿De qué estoy...? <ríe> Disculpe, vi el cuchillo y el arma y pensé que... <ríe> Olvídelo. ¿Busca algo en particular o solo está viendo? What do you have? ¿Qué tengo? Esto es Kubak Yaku, uno de los principales sitios arqueológicos de Sudamérica. Bueno, podría hacerlo. Debería hacerlo. If it weren't for pillagers... Exacto. Omar y sus matones van tras el dinero, no tras la historia. Tengo a la venta artículos culturales importantes. Un poco dañados, pero vale la pena restaurarlos. Excelente lección. Disfrútelo. Excelente lección. Disfrútelo. Excelente lección. Es un buen trato para ambos. Excelente lección. Es un buen trato para ambos. Disfrútelo. Excelente lección. Es un buen trato para ambos. Disfrútelo. Regrese pronto. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kuakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river, The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site, where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, 
the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. Había visto por aquí. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. Que la apariencia no te engañe. Es un buen lugar. Difícil, pero bueno. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Suerte y trabajo duro. Mucha gente ayudó en la siembra, así que también quieren protegerlo. No vienen muchos turistas por aquí. Oh, I'm not. A tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Ay, de todos modos, ojalá hubiese visto este lugar hace 20 años. En auge, vibrante, lleno de vida y de optimismo hacia el futuro. Pff, optimista. Más como crédulo. What happened? Por venir fue lo que pasó. Una petrolera grande fuera de Lima. Vinieron, se ganaron a la gente, les dieron trabajo a todos... Incluso iban a construir condominios al otro lado del río. Hasta que todo se vino abajo. The oil crash. Ahora nos arrastramos en las obras que dejaron. Lástima que no sea turista. Ellos traen dinero. Los investigadores se lo llevan. ¿Ya está, ¿verdad? Traditionally woven from fabric and stuffed with reeds and grains, the burial dolls are frequently shown holding something in their hand, like a musical instrument or a ball of yarn. In this instance, the doll is holding a toddler, perhaps signifying that the deceased was a mother. But this one is made from modern materials. I suppose Paul Veneer could have made it as a promotional toy. Este pueblo estuvo una vez bajo el ala y la atención del cóndor, pero dejamos que el águila lo ahuyentara. I'm not sure I understand. Yo tampoco. Nos perdimos en nuestra búsqueda. Pensé que seríamos más felices con monedas en los bolsillos. Pero el águila también se llevó a eso.
Someone has barricaded the path. May Waiter's desire for power be sated by the time we follow him to the afterlife. Looks like the bridge is out. This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems.
Quedó inservible. ¿Ha visto a mi marido? ¿O a mi hija? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? Pasan las noches con las estrellas, brillando y saludándome. Pero por la mañana viajan al río. Oh. Normalmente los veo brillando ahí. Pero la tormenta entre las olas aguas. Sé que están ahí abajo. Sé que lo están. Puesto a que nunca había visto nada así, ¿eh? Solo me queda esto. Le vendí el resto a ese buen comandante. Un poco intenso, pero lo importante es que me compró todo, ¿no? Bueno, excepto este. Funciona sin problemas. Nunca se descompone. Una belleza, ¿no? Uh, well... No, es en serio. Aquí mi esposa no ha sido la misma desde el accidente. Pero el sonido suave la ayuda a relajarse. I'm glad. Solía haber un templo en la isla, por ahí. Pero todo lo que queda son un par de muros derrumbados. And one stone pillar, it looks like. Eso es más una estatua que una columna. Un trabajo complicado. Un profesor universitario vino a estudiarla hace unos años. Did he tell you what he learned? Dijo que no tenía ningún sentido. Estaba bastante enojado por eso también. Dijo que tratamos de engañarlo o algo así. Disculpe, ¿la conozco? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. Vaya, perdimos mucho, pero no sabía que había sido tanto. I really didn't mean to. Sé que no fue así. Si nos disculpa, tenemos mucho que hacer. Señor, gracias por tu gracia. Ayúdanos a superar los obstáculos que nos hacen tropezar y danos la fortaleza y la sabiduría para la mirada.
This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. There's no mistaking that bright golden disc. Inti, the most important god of the Inca. He was the god of the sun, protector of the people, and the provider of warmth and light. Some legends also credit him with teaching humans the ways of civilization. And the Incan emperors were either considered his lineal descendants or physical incarnations of Inti on Earth, depending on which emperor you asked. This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose.
This is a little bit unusual. It shows herds of sheep, llamas, and goats. But one farmer wouldn't usually tend three distinct herds like this. That one llama, alone on the hill. That must be Urquichile, the Incan god who watches over animals. Urquichile was often depicted as a llama. This is a dedication from all the local herders to the one who protects their flocks, thanking Urquichile for the preservation of their livelihood. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. <laughs> All full up. Can't carry any more. This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Poor Veneer on the base of it. All full up. Can't carry any more. ¿Es nueva? Debería hablar con Abigail. Insiste en hablar con los recién llegados. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Esa es nuestra Abigail. Siempre lista para reparar algún generador o detener alguna discusión. 
es la alcaldesa de facto, dueña no oficial de una tienda, la mitad del departamento de bomberos. Y créame, es mejor no pelear con ella. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Uh, okay, well, uh, good luck with everything. Acaba de llegar, ¿eh? Qué suerte. Se salvó de una tormenta horrible. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. El viento arrasó la jungla cercana. Derribó un árbol. Cortó la electricidad. Un par de casas se derrumbaron. I'm sorry. No es tu culpa. A no ser que controles el clima. Si le interesa, tengo algunas cosas para comerciar. Hi there. Mire lo que tengo. Excelente lección. Disfrútelo. Excelente lección. Un placer hacer negocios con usted. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Laura. Carney Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. This pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. Los escucho clamar desde las profundidades. Las voces. Los antiguos dioses. Maybe you just need to rest. No. Véalo usted misma. Mire cómo el aliento de los dioses sube desde las entrañas de la tierra. Escuche sus aullidos de dolor. I have noticed that. Where is this breath? Lo verá. Lo oirá. Quizá pueda aliviar su sufrimiento. Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does.
dragon. This must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. People used to make miniature pieces of clothing, with highly intricate designs solely for the purpose of burning them in dedication to her. That would account for the scorch marks on the floor. And those brown stains must be llama blood. Another popular sacrifice. figure out what this means. All full up. Can't carry any more. I can't carry any more.
all full up. Can't carry any more. The walls are porous. The oil must be seeping through. When the caverns begin to howl, a warrior must descend to ease the torment. If one cannot be sacrificed, then all will die.
The elders of the village have lied to us. There is no beast underground. The howling we hear is only the wind rushing out through small caves leading to the surface. They've used fear to control us for too long. Once I make my way out of this infernal sweat bath, I will throw their lies at their feet. Votan is an ancient Maya god of war and death. So old, he is rumored to have been old even before the beginning of time itself. He is usually depicted as having no teeth and being colored entirely black. Little is known about him, except that he likes to smoke pungent cigars. Interestingly, he is also the god who invented drumming.
Something's holding it in place. I'll need more power. Now to get that other pendulum moving.
stopped howling. It's time to get out of here. All full up. Can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. Impossible. I can't carry any more.
All full up. Can't carry any more. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking How do you do? anything. Mire lo que tengo. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Excelente lección. Disfrútelo. Excelente lección. Disfrútelo. Regrese pronto.
Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Estuvieron trabajando toda la noche. And isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. No es seguro. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Me encantaría sacar estos ladrones de aquí. Everything all right? No, todo está mal como siempre. Estos Saqueadores. Vienen a la ciudad. Nos contratan para desenterrar nuestras propias reliquias. No nos pagan un salario digno. And then they run off with them and profit. Todos estamos desesperados. No hay trabajo desde que por venir se fue. Somos blancos fáciles. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. Lo poco que teníamos se fue. O está bajo el agua. Ya no sé qué hacer. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. No sé de qué servirá. ¿Cuál era tu nombre? Laura. Soy Víctor. Si quieres hablar con Omar, el director ejecutivo de robos y saqueos, está allá. Thanks. Ten cuidado. No le gusta que lo desafíen. Piss off, you Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Me encantaría sacar estos ladrones de aquí. Sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Eh? Para qué? I just want to talk to him. No quiere problemas. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Trabajo? Ah, sí, sí, claro. So, you're Marco? Dígame que Omar no la envió para molestarme. Como alguno de esos animales lastime a mi hijo, yo. Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? Como me golpeé en la rodilla, Omar puso a Pablo a reemplazarme en la excavación. Dijo que como estoy a cargo de recursos humanos, es mi trabajo buscar un reemplazo o... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Sí. Me preocupa que retenga a Pablo allá, aunque yo lleve a alguien. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. ¿Usted? ¿De verdad? ¿Haría eso? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Gracias. Si ve a Pablo, por favor, dígale que estoy aquí. Are you Pablo? Si. Sí. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Get out of here. That doesn't sound 
doing good. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother. Always unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Fucking snowflake. Are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. Better be back in a few minutes. <sighs> Bullshit generator. Why is this Something's always breaking? Copy that. We'll find who did it. Gotta find out what the hell's going on. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Stupid fucking it. thing. We're taking casualties! They can't be far. The generator's broken again. Fix it. Fuck you! Gotta find out what the hell's going on. Look at that. Form up, fucking Ready bastard. Man down! I got you! Find something. Look, there, I get there. it. You can't handle it when it gets messy. Need to search there. If I have to look for you, it's there. just gonna make me Keep more angry. That's a good spot.
All full up. Can't carry any more. Gather your things, I go back to the village. Gracias. Bendiciones. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. corriendo a casa de Abby. Bien, espero que esté bien. ¿Cuál es la prisa? ¡Vaya más despacio! Si ya no hay tendrás que... Es una bobada, ¿no? Pablo me dijo lo que hizo. No, no sé qué decir, solo gracias. Of course. Hace muchos años, cuando mi abuelo era niño, vinieron unos hombres que querían talar en los alrededores de la aldea. Todos tenían miedo de enfrentarlos, menos mi abuelo. Un muchacho de 15 años, con un arma vacía, defendió la aldea e hizo que hombres que lo doblaban en tamaño regresaran por donde habían llegado. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. Aún tengo el arma que él llevaba entonces. Quiero que la conserve como símbolo de valentía y de mi gratitud. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? Mi pequeño quiere ser doctor como su mamá. ¿Y usted cómo es que se llama? Lara. Ya tengo una nueva historia para contar, Lara. Gracias. Ya tengo una nueva historia para contar, Lara. Gracias.
Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Turn a look. Eshel and Shakshal, the twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. the temple. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. From life to death, full moon to new, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. Thank you. 
Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on. Five miles down river. Signal is strong. Something's off here. I'll let you know if they find anything. Out. Gonna have to check this out. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. 
We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Laura, you okay? Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Laura. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 